today looks very different than it did a decade ago. Smartphones and high-speed internet access have changed how quickly we expect to pay for the things we need. There are already services that let people make payments that seem instant, but many of these services provide funds to the user before the funds settle between banks. This lag in final settlement creates a buildup of interbank obligations. What's needed is a payment system designed for the real-time nature of instant payments, one that can scale as demand for these new payments grows. Today, businesses and consumers want to send and receive money in seconds, also known as instant payments. The payments industry is working quickly to meet this demand, but the solutions aren't without growing pains. So the time for modernizing our nation's payment system is now. That's Look at this. For instance, 62% of millennials reported use of mobile payment-to-payment -payment payments method off-site, and their adoption off often spurs their parents and grandparents to get on board with these technologies. Get on board. Get on board. They're trying to tell you, you have to do this. There are 11 pages of this. 11 pages of how they're going to take fiat cash, what we've all grown up with and all used, away. Get ready, people. They just told us they're going to start it. It's already on Wikipedia. Fed now is a service developed by the Federal Reserve for depository institutions in the United States. People, this is one world currency on the slick side. You're not going to be able to buy or sell. You're not going to be able to do anything the way that you've done it your entire life. Instant payments address most of the problems that the central bank digital currency would solve. However, FedNow is not a CBDC because this is not a liability of the federal government. What the hoo-ha. Let's look at the references here. You can look this stuff up yourself. Do your homework, people. It's going down, and it's going down fast. Look at this. The FedNow service is a new instant payment infrastructure developed by the Federal Reserve that allows financial institutions of every size across the U.S. to provide safe and efficient instant payment services. It's not safe. It may be efficient, but it's not safe. Okay? This is crazy. They're telling us right now, July 2023. Oh my gosh. Talk about panic at the disco. More people, businesses, and organizations are demanding instant payments. That's why the Federal Reserve is developing the FedNow service, a safe and efficient instant payments infrastructure that will modernize the U.S. payment system. The FedNow service will give financial institutions the opportunity to innovate, enabling their customers to send and receive money in seconds, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Funds will settle between financial institutions in real time, which means there's no buildup of interbank obligations, and end users will have access to the funds in seconds. How will the FedNow service work? Imagine the owner of a coffee shop is running low on coffee beans and needs to schedule a quick delivery. She places an order and the coffee bean company sends her a request for payment. She responds to the request for payment and pays for the coffee beans right then and there through an app from her credit union which uses the FedNow service. Once she initiates the payment, her credit union screens the payment and sends an ISO 20022 compliant payment message either directly or through a service provider to the FedNow service over the Federal Reserve's FedLine network. The FedNow service instantly validates the payment message and passes it along to the coffee bean supplier's bank. In real time, the supplier's bank confirms to the FedNow service that it intends to accept the payment. And the FedNow service debits and credits the master accounts of both the shop owners and the coffee bean supplier's financial institutions or the master accounts of their correspondents. The FedNow service also immediately sends a payment message with an advice of credit to the supplier's bank and notifies the shop owner's credit union that settlement is complete. Finally, the supplier's bank credits the supplier's account in near real time, making the funds available. 
the supplier's bank will have the option of sending a confirmation to the shop owner's credit union that the payment has been posted to the supplier's account, providing the coffee shop owner with certainty that the payment was received. The FedNow service will be designed to be flexible and support a broad range of potential use cases. Banks, credit unions, and other industry providers can use it as a springboard for innovation to support a range of applications such as account-to-account -account transfers and bill pay. For example, now imagine it's after hours and the shop owner gets a reminder that her car insurance bill is due today. She may be able to avoid a late fee by initiating a bill payment in her credit union app and selecting to pay it now. Later, she repays a friend for a pizza they shared using an app provided by her credit union that clears and settles through the FedNow service. With this service, banks and credit unions can remain competitive by offering the type of payment options customers increasingly expect in today's fast-paced world. The FedNow service will support flexible adoption, allowing People, financial institutions the option to work with aggregators, processors, good. and correspondents to adopt the service. Banks and credit unions will also have the option to adopt the full set of FedNow capabilities or sign on you know, as a receive only if I had any type of money the in the bank, of the FedNow service will I would take it all out, spend every last dime on it on tangible goods to meet with the exception what it has to be in there technology. for my bills. Get ready for the FedNow service. And once this FedNow. launches, I um, would be totally off grid. This is a nightmare, people.